ever heard of cloud seeding? It is a controversial process that tries to maximize moisture in the clouds, kind of a high-tech rain dance, if you will. Well, tonight there was a public meeting for the renewal of the Groundwater Conservation District's permit for cloud seeding. Our Laura Rice was the only TV reporter there, and she found out that on this issue, when it rains, it pours. About 50 panhandle ranchers and farmers waited four years to speak out once again about cloud seeding in the PGCD. We're people of the dirt. We, we're farmers and ranchers and look to the heavens, you know, on a regular basis for the rainfall. Many fought the same battle two years ago when the North Plains Groundwater District decided to end their program. Now we're having to deal with it again. Uh, we really feel like that it's detrimental to our area. Here's one complaint. Planes shoot flares of silver iodide into clouds in both the target area and the buffer zone, with only the goal of making it rain in the target area. Those in the buffer zone say their rain is being stolen. If the good Lord above decides I don't need a rain, I can, I can handle that. But, you know, when it gets down to a man deciding who gets it and what amount and who doesn't, that's just, it's just plain old not right. But the groundwater district sees it another way. It's kind of like put, putting fertilizer on, on a crop. You put it on and hope that it increases the yield. So and that's all we're trying to do is increase the yield. Many land workers also say they just don't think it's natural. You get used to knowing what things ought to take place. And when things quit happening like they have for most of your life, you begin to ask questions, why? These farmers and ranchers just aren't happy with the PGCD, especially after they admittedly seeded clouds in Briscoe County without a permit last year. I'm human and make mistakes just like everybody else. Still, as far as some are concerned, it's their livelihood, and they'd appreciate it if you wouldn't tinker with it. Laura Rice, Pro News 7. The Department of Licensing and Regulation in Austin will examine all that happened in tonight's meeting. Then the executive director will make a decision on whether or not to approve the cloud seeding permit by March 13th.